what's up productivity junkies, Darren Persinger here. Guys, I want to share with you a story, something that was personal, something that happened to me, and why it's so key for you to stay in touch with your sphere, but also make yourself available and approachable, okay? And what inspired me was this article I saw today about how J.P. Morgan Chase has overcharged some uh, military families and ended up foreclosing on them. And this kind of, sh I almost said shit, but I just said shit, so there it is, it's out there. This kind of shit needs to stop, right? And the only way it's going to stop if homeowners have someone that they can turn to when stuff like this happens to help them make heads and tails out of it versus calling their mortgage lender and their mortgage lender just beating them up about you have to make your payments, you have to make your payments. All right, so here's the personal story and why you as a real estate agent have to do this versus their lender. Because keep in mind, most mortgages are getting sold to a second party, third party, whatever. So the person, the lender that they did the transaction with isn't in the picture anymore, unless you're a great lender, like my client Dan Keller, what's up buddy? Those lenders are probably abandoning them anyways and going to look for new transactions versus following up. So whether you're a lender or a real estate agent, you need to follow up. So here's what happened about four years ago. I'm uh, at home, my home in Wisconsin Dells, have my mail delivered there, open up my mortgage bill, ready to pay my mortgage, which is normally $450 a month at that time. I'm not kidding you. That was the mortgage payment that I was making. $450 a month. That mortgage payment went up to $1,200 a month. Why? Because I was on an adjustable rate mortgage. The problem was is because I had the, the mortgage had been sold out to someone else and they adjusted it immediately instead of the two-year fix that I was on at that time. Okay? Luckily, I called, I argued with them, I had the original contracts, I knew what to do, it went, it went through a process, I had access to the money to make the payment if I had to while I sorted this out. I didn't make that payment for the first 30 days though. I was pissed and I'm like, no, we're gonna figure this out because they were beating me up. Sir, you need to make your payment, otherwise we're gonna start foreclosure process. That kind of shit needs to stop. Luckily, I, I have experience in real estate I knew what I had to do. I felt comfortable looking at the contracts. I felt comfortable having those conversations because of my experience. But think about the average homeowner. Do they have the experience to do that or are they just going to feel intimidated and beat up and pressured into making the payment or throwing their hands up and going into default? You as a real estate professional, let me throw that out there, not as an agent, not as a salesperson, not as a consultant, as a professional, need to make your guys self available and be approachable, available to these people so that they have someone to turn to. So if you're writing blogs, you're doing videos about the problems with foreclosures and short sales, make sure that you're doing a soft enough approach to that your own family, your own friends, your own neighbors will feel comfortable coming to you and asking for advice and support on what to do next. This has to stop and you need to be a resource for them, not just the next person that's going to come along and get a good deal on a foreclosure. Please make yourself available and be approachable for those that need help. Yeah.